And another gorgeous run, gorgeous run, small car, small tyre. And you know what, I think he's, he might even be on a radial hop, I don't even know. He could be on a 2-3-4. No, you're right, Chris. No, well this is the guy that likes to use a lot of oh, race tracks. These, these, these are cult cars to me. It just keeps coming, Chris. Scotty Hoffman. These are cult cars to me. These, these are the, 
you know, this this thing deserves to be where it is as far as this car. Where it's like, watch this. That's what I like to say. You know, he run the uh, he run the other Corolla the other week in the uh, testing, and uh, got the boot too quick. Oh, is that the white one? Obviously, too much stuff <laughs> going on there. Uh, but now. Let's just keep an eye on this 3 hours in K10. And Chris Kinos back on a 28.9. Here we go, qualifying. Oh, yes, it finally dropped the wheel down about 150, to foot out. good. And come on, Hoff, here we go, 7.93, 174. Put your hands together. When do you see KE10s run sevens like that? dipping out the ETs there for us. Now I do think that that dust is a result of some of the clean up there yeah, for uh, so. from uh, from Silky's wagon. So uh, TJ Graham that earlier 813. Now that's been a pretty hectic uh, qualifying lineup. Everything between so, look here's Hoff now. Oh my Here goodness. Oh my god. Driving into the uh, setting sun. Hoff massacred. World's smallest Ooh. private roller coaster. Yes, sir. Hoffman, Hart Track 508. Hoffman, the finish line, 786 over the hill. And for Errol Britton, 811. <laughs> I can see the uh, mighty little nugget garage of Scotty Hoffman just about to come through that burnout into the burnout box and uh, away he goes to light that little light that little three RZ up. And it might be going into street actually. Ooh. Street, street two eight nine. So you are spot on. It's mm. yeah, well that's they've gone out of order. Maybe these guys are ready. So speed flow, thank you the guys from Speed Flow, thank you so much. We are in street two eight nine. Hoffman and Adams. So oh. Street 29 is a heads up full tree race. Mate, this is tough, 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 tough. So first of the finish line wins. Watch for Hoffman to get out and carry that front wheel halfway through the field. There he goes again. Look at that, it's up in the air, it's down. He's out in front. Adam's got the better of the tree, but it doesn't matter because it's 784, 177 miles an hour. Hoffman, Mr. Nugget Garage goes through, mate. Huh? Yeah, he gets a win here in round one of racing next pair. Andrew Robinson at 10.49, but the, he got a fair bit of wheel spin for a change. Yeah, both of them uh, had, had some issues there on the pit. All right, another quick call for J275, modified 10.5. Extreme to the lanes, please. J275, modified 10.5 to the lanes, please. Street 289, Steve Sloan in the Gemini for Penrite Oils. Moving forward to take on Scott Hoffman. This is a good race. This is going to oh, be a yes. really good race. We get to see the uh, the little nugget garage pick the front, carry that front wheel like it's um, it's not even supposed to be uh, any sort of a, a steering mechanism at all. Just uh, carries it for quite some time. Oh, the 3RZ is out and gone. Scotty Hoffman. 
Away he goes, 792 at 175 miles an hour. Sloan with an 880. Liking so it's it's good to see uh, to see Scott in the little Corolla. Now the car um, does like to uh, dangle that front left wheel in the air. It comes up on boost and it's pretty fast, well and truly in the seven seven seconds mark as we know. Oh, oh, oh how about that from Scotty Hoffman? That's why he's got a following. And that'll be fast too. Look at that, 785 at 177 miles an hour. Almost carbon copy. He Ooh. has been so consistent in he, that car. He had a bit of smoke in the braking area as well from Scotty Hoffman. up, he got to about 3.30 foot and had a wiggle, he had to get off a little pedal, decided whether or not he wanted to get back on it, by the time he decided that, Popovich made the move at the 7.99 at 1.75 gives him the modified 10.5 winner, runner up and, a, and a, what an, uh, an exciting final, runner up Giovanni Interisi, a freestyle RV sponsored real model, right, Street 289 final. Small tyre heroes, these things reek of excitement and it's Piston versus Rhoda. And it is two Queensland cars in the final. We have two Victorian cars in modified 10.5. We've got two Queensland cars in the final of uh, Streak 289 brought to us by Speed Flow. I don't know where your money is. Hands up for the RX-8. Hands up for the RX-8. Who's the Rhoda fans? Who likes the little Hoff in the uh, Corolla? Oh, there's a fan club for the Hoff. The little Hoff. Let's see how we go in the final. Street 289 final, what a barn burner. First of the win, to the end wins. Oh, Hoff belly, oh! Oh, we broke another axle, I reckon. I reckon he broke another axle. I reckon he broke another axle. It's TJ Graham, 8.76 at 172 mile an hour. But you want an exciting final and you're going to get it. I reckon he broke another axle. I reckon he did. <laughs> oh, my he, heart. He runs, my uh, heart. I think he runs like a, a high, a high like stiff with billet axles. But he's already, he came out here one night, snapped both of them. I reckon that's gone again, I reckon. Because you know what? Hoff's about a dollar, dollar fifteen, dollar twenty as a bloke. The Corolla weighs <laughs> you wouldn't believe that thing's probably twenty eight hundred pounds. It's it's not it's not a light car. He'll tell me the weight anyway. But... <laughs>